Hello friends, myself Rakesh. Welcome to Expo Hub. Today we will learn how will you send all the files as attachment from a folder. So let's say this is the folder and there are multiple files. So it happens in a project where you will be creating multiple reports and you will be storing them in a folder and you would like to send all them all of this as an attachment. So how do you do that? So in the previous example, we learned one by one file. How can you send it? Okay, simply we have to write the path. But when it comes to sending all the files, will it work? So if I use this folder as my path and go to send SMTP mail message. Okay, so here I have an option called attach file. So all I can do here is create a, you know, something like this. If I do this, what would happen here? I'm mentioning the entire folder. So this expo hub files has got all the attachments. If you see it here. Now, if I run this, this will give me an error saying the access to the directory is not possible. So you can see that access to path so and so is denied. So it's not able to do it. So how do you get this done? Something we are going to learn. Okay. Okay. Select this on the right hand side. You have something called attachment collection. Okay. And this one takes innumerable string. So that means you cannot directly mention the path. So if you mention the path and click, okay, it will still give you an error. You can see that. So it, it doesn't accept that. So how do you utilize this is something I'm going to let you know. You have to utilize assign activity. And here you have to do a control K and you have to use a variable. Okay. So this is the variable which you need to create. create. So let me show you the variable which I have already created. If you go to variable, this file directory is an array. So I have selected array of T and here I have selected string because all the files will be string and it will be array, right? It will be lot of files which are there inside that. So here in the values you have to say directory dot get files in bracket. You can mention the file path. So let me copy the file path and mention it over here. Okay. So right now what I did directory dot get files and then mention the entire folder. So whatever file, 10 files, 6 files, 3 files, 2 files, how many number of files are there, all will be sent. Okay. There will be certain conditions in your environment where you have to send like that. Okay. So click OK. All right. So this is done. Right now, come here and use that. So this one doesn't work here. All you have to do is use an array variable. So I'm using the file directory, right? This is the variable I'm using. Okay, so this is the value. All the files will come over here and that I am utilizing over here file directory. Let me run it. Okay, the execution has completed. So you can see the email has arrived with all the attachments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can see that if I go back here, all the five attachments have come. Right. So this is what you need to do. And we have met the condition one email sent with all the files in a folder as an attachment. Okay. Now, uh, next condition is how to, how will you send specific files such as only PDF or only Excel? So how to do that? So we will learn in our next video. Thank you very much, guys. Myself Rakesh from Expo Hub. In case you have not subscribed to the channel, please, please do subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with a lot many excitement and practical examples. In case you have any kind of questions, please do comment and do not forget to hit on the like button. That would help the channel. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.